Alright guys, so right now I'm going to be sharing with you another secret for multiplying your revenue with YouTube. Now, the key and the fundamental to this secret is that we're going to be leveraging your audience retention. And what I mean by this is that we can actually study the analytics of your videos. And this is why I suggest guys like putting up as many videos as you possibly can. Because once you guys have a lot of videos up, we can start leveraging the analytics that you have um, available at your fingertips. YouTube basically gives you all these analytics and it's super cool. So I'm going to go here to the next slide and we're going to essentially be looking at where to add advertisements within your videos because once you've had your video up for about 48 hours, you start to get some analytics so you can actually see audience retention. And here is an example graph of audience retention on one of my videos. As you can see, it's got a 60% average percentage viewed. That's really good. Now, where should you add advertisements in a video just like this one? So as you can see, here's the video. Now, as you might also be able to notice that there's little spikes in here throughout this uh, audience retention graph. And as you can see, that's because th those are the action points in the video. So these typically correspond to when a scene is changing, to when something's being revealed. So you want as many of these action points as possible in your video to get a higher audience retention and a higher average percentage viewed. So as you can see, there's all these little spikes in here throughout the video. This particular video is a top five video. So as you can see, there's about five spikes in here. This first spike is at the intro. The second spike is at number five, four, three, two, one. And as you can see, I actually cut out the outro on the video just so I could get a higher audience retention because when you have an outro on the video, um, if it's too long, it, it will end up killing your audience retention because people just drop off right at the outro. So you can solve this by just cutting out the outro altogether. That's what I did in this video. Now back to multiplying your ad revenue and making as much money as you possibly can with YouTube. Where should you add advertisements? Now you're going to want to add advertisements on the action points of the video. I do not recommend adding them before the action points. I recommend adding them directly on top of the action points on the video. And these can be seen in the analytics that take about 48 hours to generate after you uploaded your video to YouTube. So I recommend publishing your video and adding the advertisements at first where the action points are, where you think the action points are. That's what you should do first. And then after 48 hours, after the video was up, then you can go back through the analytics and see exactly and kind of fine tune where those advertisements are. So for this example video, as you can see, the first ad we're going to want to add on this little bump right here. I generally like to add an advertisement about 10 to 20 seconds into the video, regardless, because some um, audience retention graphs, it'll go directly down and just be like, um, and that's generally not a good video. But when it has a spike here, you're going to want to add an advertisement right on that. Otherwise, I would add an advertisement about to 10 to 20 seconds in regardless. And then for the second advertisement, as you can see, I added right on this bump right here. Again, do not add it before because as you can see, the audience retention is a little lower right there. You add it when it's going directly at the peak of the audience retention graph. So we add another advertisement right there. The next ad, we're going to add at this next slope right here. And I think you guys are starting to catch on. The next one you add at that um, peak in audience retention right there and so forth. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six ads we can add in that video. And you add them all at high points of audience retention. Now here's another example of a different kind of audience retention chart. And as you can see, this chart has... It, it, it kind of goes down and then as you can see there's a big action point at about 10 minutes in the video so for sure you're going to want to add an advertisement right at the peak of that action point in this video so definitely add an advertisement right there now you might be wondering should i add any more advertisements in this video where else should i put an ad in this video now i just want to quick out before i tell you guys where you should place the next ad in an audience retention chart like this as you can see at the very end right here, it does slope off and that's because I put that long 20 second outro, which was a big mistake. You're not going to want to add outros that are too long because people just um, click off the video when they see a long outro. They're not going to want to watch it. It just makes people click off of the video. So definitely do not put too long of an outro that kind of killed the audience retention at the end. But this video did perform very, very well because I did have that spike right there. And if you can add as many action points and as many spikes in audience retention as possible, your channel's really going to blow up, especially if you can combine that 
with the high click-through rate, your channel is going to blow up, guys. So high audience retention combined with high click-through rate equals the watch time, which is what YouTube's looking for. Now, look, now going back to um, this audience retention graph, where should you add um, another advertisement? Now, I actually recommend adding it again within that first 10 to 20 seconds in the video. So as you can see right here, the audience retention is going down, and we just add an advertisement right there, get them with the ad, because even though it is sloping down right here, as you can see, it's still about 80-90% audience retention, which is still better than this action point even down there. But as you can see, it actually goes lower than this action point, and then it goes spikes back up, and then you're going to want to add an advertisement right at the peak again. And then it gets slopes down again. So, I, so in this particular video, I added two advertisements. Now you could add as many advertisements as you want. Like you could put an ad um, right here. You could put an ad right here. But for this particular one, these are the two main points in which I recommend adding advertisements. Now this is from a video that did very well. It actually got over a million views. So if you can add as many action points in your video as possible. Now imagine if I added an action point similar to this one and I added it like earlier on in the video. So as you can see, imagine if it's sloping down and I added like maybe three or four of those action points. It's really going to keep the viewers in if you do that, guys. So try to add as much action in the video as possible or just anything that will keep the viewers attention. And this goes to any kind of YouTube channel, guys. If you're making your own videos, if you're using other people's videos, putting together compilations, um, putting different videos by each other, trying to keep the most audience retention for the longest amount of time, or if you're just even filming your own videos, this applies to everything. This is a key fundamental to YouTube, and understanding this is really key to blowing up on YouTube. And these are analytics that are readily available to you within the YouTube analytics. Highly recommend going in, looking at them, um, seeing where you can place advertisements to really maximize your profit on YouTube. So there we go, guys. That's my number two secret to definitely multiplying the revenue you are making on YouTube. All right, guys. Now I'm going to talk about how to study your YouTube analytics and optimize your videos going forward in the future. So once you have a lot of videos uploaded, you can start studying the analytics to those videos and seeing why they're getting views, seeing how long people are watching the videos and whatnot. So the most important YouTube analytic there is, is watch time. And that's why YouTube puts it at the top right here. See, I'm in one of my example channels that I run. As you can see, this video in the last month, this is the last 28 days, it's gotten 377,000 views and it's made me $660. And this video is only 10 minutes long and I think I have like two or three ads in this particular video. But as you can see, even more important than views are watch time. And that's why YouTube puts it at the top right there. So you always want to see your watch time going up and to study why you're getting the amount of watch time you are, you can actually go in down here to a little thing called audience retention. So if you click that, then you can see how long exactly people are watching your video. So as you can see, when the video starts, 100% of the people are watching and then it drops off because people only watch a certain amount of the video. And you want to keep this as high as possible for the longest amount of time. And as you can see, I think the biggest mistake I did with this video is that I added a really long outro. And as you can see, it just drops off right there because no one wants to just sit there and watch an outro. I mean, I think I'd be a lot better if I put like a five minute outro right at the end of that. But as you can see, the average percentage viewed is 49%. And that's actually not that good compared to what this video was because this video actually has more than 10 million views. But what you're looking for for your average percentage viewed is over 70% because anything over 70% is deemed very good in YouTube's eyes. So you want to keep your average percentage viewed um, on audience retention as high as possible. And you want to keep that average view duration as well as high as possible. As you can see, people on average watch 6 minutes and 56 seconds of the video. And then if you really want to get a good understanding of it, you can click this button right here, which says relative audience retention. So this basically calculates it for you. So at the beginning, obviously, 100% of people are watching. So YouTube deems that as average. And then as you can see, it says above average for one minute and 16 seconds. Then it goes down back to average. So what you want to do is go to two minutes or three minutes into your video right here. See why it dropped down from above average to average. And then it goes back up to above average at about eight minutes. So you want to analyze all your YouTube videos and see why it's going down, why it's going up, and how you can improve future videos to get people to want to watch as long as possible all the way through. So then as you can see, towards the end, it drops down to low. Which, again, is because that outro that I ended, that really long outro, it drops down to low. But as you can see, below average. And since this video has such good 
audience retention. I attribute most of the fact that it got 10 million views due to its audience retention, which therefore equates in watch time. But there's another factor that's really important in getting YouTube views, and we're going to talk about that in the next lesson. So now we're going to talk about click-through rate. And to actually see click-through rate on your YouTube analytics, you have to go to the new YouTube Studio Beta. And you can do this by going to your analytics, and then you'll see this button right up here that says YouTube Studio Beta. You can just click that. And then you can actually go on certain videos. And as you can see, it also shows audience retention right here. Um, within the new YouTube Studio Beta, it shows the real-time activity, how many views that video is getting. And as you can see, in the new YouTube Studio Beta, I actually really like this layout right here. This video has a really good audience retention, um, 71%. As I was saying, this is a different video. As you can see, I've improved from that last video that got 10 million views. And I've been able to keep people's attention much better. As you can see, they watch all the way through. There's no real drops in the audience retention. And people watch all the way through generally pretty good. And as you can see, these are the real-time views. Last 48 hours, 17,000 views. And I really like the new YouTube Studio Beta too because you can actually see like the first couple hours, like how much watch time and how many views the video got within the first couple hours and how many it's been getting since then. And you can also see revenue too, but, this, but revenue just shows per day. So as I was saying, to actually see the click-through rate, we want to click this Reach Viewers button right here. And then we can scroll down and as you can see right here, I really like this upside down pyramid that they have right here because it shows the amount of impressions on your video. So it shows how many people have seen like the thumbnail and the title for your video when they're going through YouTube. And then it shows the click-through rate of how many people actually click that video. As you can see, this video has a 10% click-through rate. Now YouTube actually put out a statement saying that half of all videos on YouTube are between 2 and 10% click-through rates. 10 being on the high end and 2% being on the low end. So as you can see, this video has a very good click-through rate being at 10%. And then through this little bar right here, you can see how much YouTube is recommending your content. And now click-through rate, you don't want to look at any of these analytics by themselves necessarily. You want to look at them together and make an understanding based off of looking at all these different analytics together. Because click-through rate is entirely dependent on your thumbnail and your title. So that's going to be what give, drives people to actually click the video and watch. But the amount of time that they actually watch the video, which is watch time, which is the most important, that's why YouTube puts it at the bottom of this pyramid, because this pyramid represents a funnel. So it captures the audience's retention. First off, with the thumbnail and the title, they click it. 10% of people click it, which results in 27,000 people watching the video. And then based off of your average view duration and the audience retention, as we were talking about in the last lesson, most people watch about 72% of that video, which results in that 90,000 minutes of watch time. So you want to look at all these analytics together. And I really like this new data point that YouTube allows in the new YouTube Studio Beta, showing the impressions and how they led to watch time. So really look at all of these analytics together and find out which the points you're strong on, because you might be strong on click-through rate, but YouTube still isn't going to recommend your video if you don't have like a really good average view duration and you're not getting a lot of watch time which is again why those longer videos do so good and I found that like compilation videos and whatnot do very good too if you're switching like the clip like every 30 seconds because that keeps people's attention that let's say they watch for 30 seconds and if you just kept showing the same clip all the way through they might get bored so if you just switch the clip at 30 seconds or you're making one of those technology compilation videos that I was talking about you switch the clip like every minute in a 10 minute video that's going to keep people's attention all the way through and then you couple that with a really good thumbnail which is going to increase your click-through rate, have a really good title, then you're going to start getting recommended by YouTube throughout like suggested videos and everything and browse features and YouTube search, and you're going to really start blowing up on YouTube. So that is my best recommendations of how to look at your analytics and start getting views by optimizing what you're strong on and getting rid of what you're weak on. So you want to upload as many videos as possible, guys. Don't be scared to upload videos and be scared like, oh, I don't know if it's going to get as much watch time as I'd like. You want to upload as many videos as possible because this is going to provide as many data points as possible because then you can see like which videos did good, which videos did bad. I want to cut out videos like this. I want to double down on videos like this. And you might want to keep making the same videos, but you might want to change certain things about the videos like a different thumbnail, say, or let's say like a different title, different tags. You want to see what's going on and how you can get the most views. So these are my best recommendations on how to look at your analytics and get the most views.